Good evening everyone and welcome to my channel. <laughs> my name is Elizabeth. My channel name is Chi Town Girl and Miss Kalualu is outside the door because there was no way I was going to be able to do this with her in the room. I tried twice and it just wasn't happening. Unfortunately, this isn't the best location to film this type of a video, but it's the best that I can do for right now because the other two things I wanted to film tonight I'm unable to because I am missing a key component to what I need to finish these two projects, so I'm not gonna be able to share them with you this evening. However, what I would like to share with you is every single thing that you see here is Dollar Tree. What I would like to do is build a basket for Grandpa. Grandpa loves chocolate, any kind of chocolate. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're not gonna make it real fancy fancy because Grandpa is almost 80 years old. He does have a hard time seeing sometimes. And to be quite honest, this is just a little something something um, just to let him know that obviously I'm thinking about him. I'm pre-making it ahead of time because if I don't do it now while I have the time, it's not going to get done. And a lot of you had asked about how I build some of my baskets. So I have to say on a scale from 1 to 10, this would be considered something on the smallest level that I would make, okay? So I'm just going to be kind of like in and out with my footsies and things here. So basically what you're going to need is you're going to need a pair of scissors. Pick out any kind of tissue paper that you want. You're going to need some ribbons or bows, any kind you want. Again, everything I have here is from Dollar Tree. You're then going to want to get your stuff or fluff, however you want to call it, decorative shred. Um, it's called all different kinds of things. I got red. You're going to want to get, if you want to seal your basket, there's two ways you can seal it. You can seal it with just a cellophane bag and a bow, or you can do it with a cellophane bag that you use a hair dryer, which I have right here. And yes, of course, it's purple. Did you think I wouldn't have a purple hair dryer? <laughs> um, so that kind of shrink wraps it and keeps it more fresh. So that's what I have here from Dollar Tree as well. It comes with one bag and it comes with the bow. Then this container was from Dollar Tree as well. It's simple, you know, it didn't have anything like, you know, it's for grandpa. So we didn't, you know, I didn't want to have like, I love yous and stuff like that. It's just my way of saying, you know, thanks for doing what you do and I love you. This now is an assortment of sweets and treats and everything here is from Dollar Tree. So I have some of the Whitman's chocolates, the truffles. Uh, Grandpa loves this chocolate, so that's why we're going so chocolate here. Um, a couple packs of um, Valentine's in chocolate, some chocolate flip pretzels. We have three of the Russell Stover caramels from Dollar Tree. I have some of the Russell Stover Itty Bitty Hearts. The list just goes on. Some Harbro, uh, some Truffles, some Tootsie Roll Dots, and some, which I took out of the package because I didn't want to give them the whole bag, some of the Sticklets. All right, so I'm going to push all of that away, and I know you're all going, oh my gosh. But for Grandpa, probably about two weeks. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing that I do, now some of these are optional. You don't have to put that much in. You could put more if you wanted to. There's lots of different ways that you can do this, but I'm just sharing with you my techniques that I feel work good for me, okay? So the first thing I do is I get my container and then I open up my shrink wrap. Now, this is what the packaging looks like. From Dollar Tree it's hung up by all the you know bags and stuff like that when you take the bag out the bag is huge as you can see it's just huge it is so paper thin you just have to be really careful the bag is gonna be really ugh, the best word it's just so full of static so when you open it open it slowly because if you get a rip in it, it's going to be a pain in the you-know-what. 
to fix it with the hair dryer. So as you can see, this is a really big bag. Now, I don't have that big of a basket. So since I already know that I don't need this much plastic, I can go ahead and trim it right now. And that's only because I do these a lot. So I'm gonna already shorten the plastic. I'm not taking off a ton. And you could reuse this on something else or whatever you choose to do. So then I reopen my bag again. And then what I do is I usually will go very slowly because this is where the ripping starts. I just slowly slide my arm in here and I just try to get a little bit of air because it is going to be so full of static. And I've only learned from doing it wrong several times, so I'm just trying to share with all of you. So as I open it, I kind of go around and turn it over a little bit to try to just spread it out some. Now, you do not have to do this right off the bat. It's optional. I do this because I like to take my container, put it into the plastic bag, get it centered. I'm sorry, I know there's a lot of noise, um, but I like to get my container centered in the middle of the bag. So I'm gonna do that first. It doesn't have to be exact, but as you can see, it's pretty much in the middle of that bag plastic to plastic, okay? So once I get it right where I want it, I then will roll the bag around the container that I'm using, whether it's a plastic, whatever container that you're using. Okay, now the reason for this, number one, because once your basket's full, it is a pain in the butt to pick it up and then try to get it in this plastic, especially if you have different pieces of foam or other things like, um, you could just get so involved in baskets. They become very heavy. Once you get them set, you wanna kinda get them packaged and done. So this works well for me. Again, you don't have to do it this way, this is optional. Now, tissue paper, it's optional as well. What I do, is I just get a piece of decorative tissue paper. This is optional, you don't have to do it. You can start tossing your goodies right in the bin. This is just me and what I do. I take my tissue paper, I turn it the opposite way and lay it over the bin. And then I just kind of take my fists and put it in there slowly because if you go wham, it's all gonna rip. And just, it, there's no perfect way. Just put it in there nicely. You're gonna have a little bit of overage, that's okay. Just put your paper in there as nice as you can. And I really wish I had a shot above so you could see in. Unfortunately, my stand that I have, I'm needing to replace. Um, I need to get one that I can you know, hang up over what I'm doing. But I'll show you by going like this. So what I've done is I've lined my tissue paper inside my container. Now, this is optional as well too. I'm just all about presentation and this is how I roll. I get some of my decorative shred, this is from Dollar Tree, and I have red, and I'm just gonna pour some of that in there. Now, a lot of times when you get baskets, you'll get either wads of paper or shred or a bunch of styrofoam and then they pile the pieces on top to make it look fuller. That's fine, but I want it to be full of the stuff that I want grandpa to have. So I'm not gonna use a bunch of shred. I have a half a bag, and it was exactly a half that was left over from the last time I used one. So it's a half a bag of this shred for this container. All right, now I'm just gonna fold the tissue down here because we're gonna fix that later. Again, I wish I had an overhead shot, but I'm gonna show you kind of what I'm doing. So I'm gonna assess the pieces that I have right now. Get an idea because you want your bigger pieces more towards the back as you can start to build. Now I'm looking and I'm saying to myself, what do I have that I could build up the basket a little bit more where I could have some stability? And the first thing that comes to my mind here is this package of dots because 
you know, it's got a nice square and it's heavy. And by putting it in this container, I'm going to allow this container to lift up on the inside a little. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So there's the container. I'm going to put the dots in like this. So now what I've done is I've kind of built up the inside of the box a little bit. And I can use this as a good base to build up items higher. I don't have to do this. I'm just choosing to do this. So that's where I'm starting with my dots. Now I have some fairly tall pieces because I got grandpa some of these Russell Stovers. And I actually got three of those for him. And I think what I'm gonna do is put one right in the back of the dots. I know, I wish, I really wish I could do this better for you. But I think you're gonna get the idea of where I'm coming from here. So I'm gonna put that package of, dot, of uh, caramels, I'm actually gonna put it up this way so you could see the heart and you can actually see that it says Russell Stover's. Let me move it back and maybe that'll help a little. And then I'm actually gonna do another one here and another one here. So I basically just put three in the back, okay? So now you see we're already starting to build that basket. And you can change it up if you want. You kinda wanna get your pieces so they're not gonna move too much because that's the whole point of doing a basket is so you can see your pieces without a lot of movement. Okay, so here's what I have so far. Now I have some Harbro snacks and that's kind of like a thick packaging. So in fact, I think I'm actually gonna put that, I'm gonna kind of do something a little different. I'm gonna put the Harbro in the back behind that dots and then I've built up already my packaging a little bit more. Do you see how much higher that came up already? And then put my Harbro here. And then I'm going to put another Russell Stover right back there again. So the same thing I had before. I just added one more item behind there to build it up a little. Okay. So let me see what else I have here. Hopefully you guys can see what's going on, just to get the general idea. Ooh, I have this big package of flips, so we're gonna put that right there, and then I'm gonna need something, I'm gonna need something to hold that up, so I think we're gonna go with this big package here, and now we're gonna need some kind of support or else that's gonna go like that. So let me see what I have here that I can support it with. Let me move what I've got over here. Sorry for reaching around here. You guys are all getting a reach around. All right, so let's see. I promise next time I do this, I'll have the camera up, um, but I will give you a visual from above. So we're gonna go with this. And then there's this big box of truffles. So I think what we'll do is we're gonna take that and we're gonna kind of put it on a diagonal. And actually, maybe this will work. Let me go, ooh, look at that. I'm getting kind of fancy. So here we go. We have those Russell Stovers. There's another package right there that I'll pull up a little better. And then we have one here. The dots are down there in the bottom. Then we have this big package of flips, then this package of hearts, and then the truffles. So I'm gonna put you back down here for a second. Again, I've never done a video like this, so, you know, it's my first time. Bear with me. I'm doing the best I can. All righty. <clears throat> Continuing on. I have some of these Happy Valentine's Day Whitman's chocolates. So I think what I'm going to do is something like this. I'd actually like Grandpa to be able to see Snoopy. So what we're gonna do is this. Okay, and then we're gonna put the truffles right there. And I'm just gonna turn this towards me for just one moment so I can just make sure I'm getting everything centered. But I promise I'll share with you more. But you're at least getting the idea of what's going on here. 
Let me just adjust this because when I turned it, I actually moved the whole center of the packaging. There we go. Okay. So we want to make sure that everything's going to be in there nice and tight. And I think what we need something more here in the front. So I'm going to take this Valentine's Day heart to give us that three boom, boom, boom. You got big, medium, and then smaller. We've got some turtles. I'm going to put that in here just for a little bit more layer. Okay, we'll put that back in. Then our truffles. And then, boy, I'd like to receive this basket. And again, this is all Dollar Tree. So we can add it up at the end here and see what we've got. All right. <clears throat> I think what's happening is because I'm sitting on a bed, it's moving. So everywhere I'm putting everything, it's kind of moving. I have some of these itty bitty hearts from Russell Stover's. We're gonna put those in two. Let's put another one back here to make it fit a little tighter. And you always go back in after you put everything in and you're gonna rearrange it. So right now, it's kind of looking, let me pick it up again and show you. It's looking like that. All right, I'm gonna put it back down here, bear with me. All right, so these were those cyclic I opened up. So I'm just gonna put a few of these in here and there, just for fillers. You know, you don't have to, optional. Um, I would normally probably put lollipops, but I know Grandpa doesn't eat those. Um, I would probably put some hearts, those hearts that, um, that are on the sticks. I'd probably put some of those in there as well. But like I said, you know, this being for Grandpa, you know, I'm going to what he likes, okay? Okay. Once you have all your items in there, and then you wanna take your tissue paper and kinda of tuck what's hanging out in, because that's also gonna give you some more support. So let me just do this, and I'll be right back with you. I'm gonna stay here, but I'm gonna keep my mouth closed for a second. You guys are probably going, oh, thank God. I just like to explain as much as I can. I'm turning it around here, obviously. We're just tucking everything in. And once we have it tucked in, then you can do your final adjusting. Now, I could have put more material in the bottom so more items would have come up higher, but I don't think it's necessary to make this super gargantuan. Um, I think there's plenty of chocolates in here. Grandpa's definitely going to take a look at this and be like, oh my goodness. He always gets a big smile on his face when he sees me coming with a basket. Okay, now a couple things. I'm sorry, that's my footsie. Hello, it's got socks, socky with hearts. <laughs> okay, so much for this video. Um, I found one more cichlid, so let me stick that in there. All right, so basically that is what we're looking at now. I don't know, I would love to receive something like that. That's just me though, um, to each their own. I'm gonna put this back down one more time and hopefully you guys are gonna be able to see what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna back it up so there's your presentation so far. Now, when you get this bag at Dollar Tree, it comes with these bows. The bows are okay. I don't prefer to use them on these bags. You can if you want. They're actually pretty cool. If you've never seen one of these bows before, it looks like a big long snake. And at the end, you're going to open up these two flaps and you're going to see these two little strings. Now, this is critical. You want to take this very slow. You don't want to be fast about it. What you're going to do is you're going to take these strings and slowly pull them. And as you're pulling them, 
Do you see what's happening? I'm gonna keep going. I just need to give myself some more room here. You have to pull slowly because if you don't, it's not gonna work. Okay, so you're just gonna pull both strings out at the same time. And before you know it, you have, after you fan it out a little bit more, here is what you have. You've got a beautiful bow all ready to put on your package with the strings to tie on it. Now you could use this, and maybe I will. I'll check it out. But usually I tend to use this kind of stuff. All right, so crucial moment. I'm gonna take a final look at how I have everything placed. I just wanna make sure that you know we're looking okay here. You're gonna be able to see things. Now, I'm gonna take my plastic and bring it up around my box, bag, whatever you're using. <clears throat> this is, again, something that I do. Um, it is not required. I have done a lot of these, and I feel that this is just something that works best for me. I gather my plastic, and I just bring it in as much as I can. You want to bring it all up into a pile. It does not have to be perfect because we're going to be drying this and it's going to shrink to it. Okay, so you want to bring your plastic up. Some people choose to not do what I'm doing right now. What they will do is leave the plastic and then start blow drying it and then close it. I find that when I bring the plastic up and then I get an idea about where I want my bow to be, I tie a piece of string, that piece of ribbon that I just tore out, and I get an idea about the height because your plastic height will stay the same. So I want it to be probably about right there. And I'm gonna cinch it tight and I'm just gonna close it right off because I will not be going back in this bag to put anything else. Don't worry about this. This is not a big deal right now. Here is what you have. Now, you could give it like this. You just got all this fluff hanging out here. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my top and what I do is I like to hold the top like I'm pulling a ponytail while I'm drying it. I put my dryer on low. You never wanna get your dryer right up on top of the plastic because it'll burn a hole right through it. But you wanna start your hair dryer on low, work from the top down to the bottom because if you have extra, you can always get it dried under here to shrink wrap. If you have extra up here, you'll shrink it so tight, you'll end up getting holes in the plastic. Again, just from my experience. Okay, I am now gonna turn my hair dryer on so you won't be hearing my mouth and hopefully you can see it dry on screen. So let me get it warmed up here. Let me start it on low first. You wanna do it on warm, and some dryers, depending on the heat, you can go to high. Be very careful, because if you touch this plastic, you're gonna make a hole. So I'm starting on warm, and I'm starting on low. Again, I'm holding the top, and I'm gonna work my way down. This process can take anywhere from one minute to three, depending on the strength of your hair dryer. I'm going slow right now because I want you to all see. As the paper starts to shrink wrap and get smaller, I start to just turn it around so I can work all the way around. You want to keep moving it. You don't want to stay in one spot for too long. You kind of want to aim your dryer down 
because you're basically going to watch these wrinkles disappear. Okay, so I'm gonna turn my dryer up a little higher just for camera purposes. Okay, I let that run just a little bit long because I wanted you to see that it takes time to put it together and mold it. So now I've got this super big piece on top. I don't need all that much. I'm going to go ahead and just cut some of that off. I'm going to fan this out. I'm going to grab some of my strings here of my ribbon. And this is where I say I cheat a little by getting those separate pieces because it's just quicker. I'm gonna tie these around and I'll make this look a little fancier 
with the ribbon, but I see the video is probably getting a little bit long. So I did want to just give you an idea of, voila. Now look at all those treats. This is Dollar Tree. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, under $20. Actually, under $18. I hope Grandpa loves it, and I know he will. Thanks so much. Please let me know what you thought. Besides the fact I need to record it in a different way, I hope you enjoyed this. Super simple. Anybody can do this. Thumbs up. Bye for now.